we're going to do a boiled and glazed gammon. I'm going to serve it with a peas pudding. So first for the gammon, we're going to need a piece of OSB gammon. We want two onions that have been chopped in half, three or four bay leaves, a few peppercorns, I think we've got about eight, some dried parsley and a little bit of dried dill as well. We're also, for the glaze, we're going to want some marmalade. Um, I like grapefruit marmalade, but orange marmalade, lemon is absolutely fine. Um, some Coleman's mustard and a little bit of seasoning. And for the peas pudding, we need 275 grams of yellow split peas that have been soaked overnight and then drained. One small potato diced and a small onion diced. And then we want some mixed herbs. I've got for about a teaspoon of rosemary, thyme and sage, and then a couple of cloves as well. You're also going to want for the peas pudding a clean tea towel or muslin and a piece of string to tie it all together. Okay, so to start the peas pudding, I've just put the split peas together with the cubed potatoes, the herbs and the onion. And I'm just gonna give them a little mix and then I've lined a bowl with the tea towel and I want to put all of this into the inside there. Maybe that's got a scrape. Okay, so now we just need to bring the corners up of the tea towel together, close it in to make a tight bag to hold the peas pudding in, and then a bit tricky, but just tie around some string and tie it all together to start your peas pudding. Okay, so to start the cooking process, we need to add the gammon to a pan of cold water with the onion halves and the herbs, and I've popped the peas pudding in there as well. And we want to bring the water up to the boil, and once it's boiling, we skim anything off the surface, put a lid on, and let simmer for an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so we're just cooking through the gammon and the peas pudding, I'm gonna have a little check on it. I can see that the water level has just dropped slightly, so I'm gonna pour some more boiling water over them so that they're covered and they can continue to simmer nicely until the cooking time's up. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 20 minutes now of these cooking here. So next thing we need to do is remove the gammon from the boiling water and pop it into a nice roasting tin. We then want to remove the string of the gammon and we need to take off some of the fat about the skin as well. I'm just going to cut as carefully as I can, leaving the fat on there. Remove it. There we go. I'll just pop that on this side. So next, we just want to score the top of the fat that's on the gammon there into the crisscrosses and then we're going to add some of our marmalade and push it over the top. Place this on here. The heat will help melt it and you can just smear it nicely over the top to glaze. A couple of spoonfuls on there as well. Plenty on and it'll add into the sauce as well at the end. So once you've glazed your gammon with the marmalade, you just need to pop it into the oven at 180 for about half an hour and let it roast. If you liked this cook along video, please subscribe to our channel where you can find many recipes and cook along videos with OSB pork. Or for more inspiration, why not consider purchasing a copy of our OSB pork dedicated cookbook, Porkalicious, which can be found in our website shop. So whilst the gammon's roasted in the oven, you need to just remove your peas pudding from the broth and let it rest for a while. Put it in a bowl there. We then need to strain the broth into a larger saucepan. So I'm just going to pop it through the sieve and we want to add that over a medium temperature to let it boil. I'm going to use that broth next to make a sauce and to cook the vegetables.
So we just need to take a couple of ladles of the cooking broth out of there and reserve it for later for when we make our sauce. Okay, so once your cooking broth has come up to the boil, you can add your vegetables um, that you want to serve your gammon. I'm just doing some carrots, broad beans and some runner beans that are going to go in there and they can cook nicely. I will add some um, garden peas as well at the end, but not just quite yet. Okay, so the veg is now starting to cook through really nicely and the gammon's nearly ready. So I'm just gonna pop the peas pudding back in with the veg just to warm it through ever so slightly. And I'm gonna pop them peas in just for the final few minutes of cooking. Let that do its thing. Okay, so the gammon's now starting to look nice and sticky. So I'm gonna take that out and just pop it on a board for it to rest a little bit while we make the sauce. So to make the sauce, we want to pop the reserve stock from earlier or broth from earlier and pop it over medium heat. And then we're just gonna reduce it down. But before we do, we want to add a good teaspoon of mustard powder and get all that nice sticky juice off the pan. Okay, so once your sauce is reduced down nicely, just want to pop that into a gravy boat and keep that ready. And I have, let me serve that to the side. I've also sliced some of the gammon ready for serving. And so next we want to work on the peas pudding. So to prepare pudding. the peas pudding, we need to snip it free from the cloth and attempt to get it all straight back into the bowl. Tip that into there. It's quite hot, so just be careful. Set that to the side. And then we want to add some butter to that and just mash it through nicely, along with a good teaspoon of mustard powder again. A special ingredient. So I've just finished mashing the peas pudding together. I've strained the vegetables and had a little bit of the broth on the top just to keep them juicy. And now I'm going to go and enjoy it with a cheeky glass of wine. Enjoy!